On Monday's performance finale of season two of The Voice, each of the four finalists had three more chances to impress America. A solo competition performance, a second song in which each finalist chose one of his or her coach's songs, and a duet between each finalist and his or her coach. Hey friends, Shandy here. It was a big night and TVLine.com has all the details. From Team Blake, Jermaine Paul took on R. Kelly's I Believe I Can Fly, complete with a gospel choir backing him up. Now I kind of felt like I was watching a Miss America competition. He went a little country with Blake Shelton's God Gave Me You for his coach tribute and showed how versatile he was as a vocalist. And the odd couple teamed up for a duet of Sam and Dave's Soul Man, which wasn't much to write home about. From Team Levine, and that's just fun to say, Tony Luca performed a beautiful acoustic duet with Coach Adam to the Beatles yesterday. Then he took on Maroon 5's Harder to Breathe, which proved to be quite a mouthful. You got a lot of words in that one, man. <laughs> but controversy erupted on the stage when his folksy performance of Jay-Z's 99 Problems rubbed Christina the wrong way. You know, the lyrical connotation was a little derogatory towards women, but you know, all in all, it was good fun. That was just the beginning of the Christina vs. Tony War. When her own singer, Chris Mann, took on her song, The Voice Within, she heaped praise on him, all while making sure to throw her former Mickey Mouse Club castmate under the bus. He was a real man. A real man. Thank you, Mom. Respect women. Thank you, Mom. And when Tony gave his sincere thanks to all four judges for helping him along his voice journey, what was Christina doing? Texting. I want to say thank you to all four of you, what well, you guys have been part of. The drama continued with Chris Mann's duet with coach Christina Aguilera to Celine Dion's and Andre Bocelli's The Prayer. But it was his take on Josh Groban's You Raise Me Up that was really pulling on the heartstrings of America. I mean, Having a sign language interpreter on stage is a surefire way to pull in the votes. Team CeeLo's Juliet Sims was battling pneumonia during the finals, so she had some shaky moments, especially when taking on Narl Barkley's hit, Crazy. But she stepped up her energy with her coach duet on Born to be Wild. And of course, she really rocked it with her gritty voice in Leonard Skinner's Free Bird, with a super dramatic red dress and one very excited guitar player. Tonight, one of these four talented artists will finally win The Voice. Who will it be? Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. I'm Shandy. And be sure to subscribe to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.